So what I wanted to show you in this video today was using filters within a spreadsheet. Now, the usual way we would actually set filters is by selecting the top row like this. So you can see the spreadsheet that I've created here with color, car, and year. And then go up to data and then click filter. Okay, and then what we can do is we can just filter out the things that we need. So we can clear that, let's se select all the blue cars, and that's gonna select all the blue cars. We could select all the Fords, and that is our results. So the problem with this is that when we're sharing this sheet with others in our organization, the filter remains on for everyone else. So if I go to another account now, this is a separate account, okay, this is a different account, and you can see the filter has remained on. Now, I can go in here and then as that other person and say, oh, I don't want that filter now, so let's uh, select everything and select everything here as well, okay, and then we've got everything back, and then the other person that's working on it, he's saying, oh dear, my filter, I want that back on. So there's a constant conflict between the, the filters that are going on. Now what Google does, it offers a solution to this. So what you can do is you can go into data and you can do filter views. So we're gonna create a new filter view here. We'll click on create and we can name the filter. So let's just choose the filter, let's call this, I'm gonna call this Richard and then we can have our own filter, so let's do the same filter, let's uh, clear the filter, let's select all the green cars this time, um, and there's our green cars, four green cars. Now if we go to our other account now, we don't see the filter, the filter remains on. So I'm gonna just turn this one off, because now what I can do on this account, I can create my own filter. So let's create a new filter here. Let's call this and Solo, for example. You can name it anything you like. It's giving you some information here about filters. And then let's uh, clear this filter and let's look at all the uh, black cars, for, for example, on here. Okay, so both accounts, I've got two different filters on, but we've named them correctly. So the key to this is when you are doing your filters is looking at filter views. All right, if you're looking at filter views and you can create different filters. Now you can see what's happened here is the filter views, because I've named them with my name, I can actually look at Richard's filter view if I wanted to, or I could go back and have a look at another filter view, or I can go back and I can create another filter view. I can go to filter view options. I can rename it. I can update the range that I've set for it duplicate it and delete it, etc. And then I can find out more if I want to. So filter views is a really good way of actually creating unique filters for each individual that's got access to the spreadsheet. So if you've got a department of 20 people, they can all create their own filter rather than using the standard own filter. So just a few other things. You can change the range here if you want to. Over here you've got some settings. These are exactly the same settings as you saw on the menu. And then I can just turn it off. If I turn it off, my filter view is turned off. I can go back to data and you can see the other filter is on there. But if I go back to the other account, my filter view is still on. So you can turn filter views on and off depending on what you want to do. So that's filter views in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.